assalamu alaikum students today we are going to study about the development of globule in the last lecture we have studied about the structure of globule but in this lecture we are going to study how the globule is formed development of globule we know that in the sexual reproduction this is the male portion of the reproductive part of the cara so in the last lecture we have studied about uh, the structure of globule but in this lecture we will study how this globule is developed so this globule is developed on the nodal cell and we know that if you try to draw these are the rhizoids basically it is the structure of or a plant body of a cara this is the plant body of a cara and we know that these portions these portion like this portion is known as node and this is also a node but the distance between two node is known as internode so this is also internode this is internode this is internode but such points are known as nodes so this globule is formed at a point of such type of nodes so that side we can say that globule is formed at the nodal cells or from the nodal cell and we take this cell like this for example this is a nodal cell present at the node <coughs> this is a nodal cell this nodal cell divide and produce two cells division in this cell occur and produce two cells this is a first cell and this is a second cell so it mean these cells are produce as a result of division of this nodal cell this is upper cell and this is lower cell now what will happen from such type of cells this cell which is known as lower cell it divide and produce a node for example this is a node and this node is formed as a result of the union of this lower cell but this upper cell produce which is attaching with this cell which is known as nodal cell which is present on the apex so that's why it is also known as apical cell apical apical cell this upper cell with apical cell is present but this cell give rise a node this is a node i am again telling you this lower cell for this structure which is known as node and these cells are present at the upper side here this one is a upper cell but at the upper position that will be a apical cell so this is upper cell and upper cell always for the pedicel it will form the pedicel and this is a pedicel but here now this apical cell is still present undivided apical cell apical cell this is basically this cell it mean the apical cells are present at the node it mean globule is produced from the nodal cell nodal cell is basically upper cell 
एपिकल सेल दिस एपिकल सेल डिवाइड एंड प्रोड्यूस वन अपर सेल एंड वन लोअर सेल दिस लोअर सेल डिवाइड एंड प्रोड्यूस दिस नोड्स एंड अपर सेल विल डिवाइड टू प्रोड्यूस अ पेडी सेल बट एट दिस सेल स्टिल दिस एपिकल सेल इज प्रेजेंट अनडिवाइडेड now what will happen forward to this now i am going to draw a this structure so before the drawing i am trying to write here nodal cells give rise a globule how this globule is for it mean apical cell divide apical cell divide and produce two cells and produce one upper and one lower cell lower cell give rise a node and produce a node lower cell produce produce it a node and upper cell give rise of paddy cell of a globule upper cell give rise paddy cell of globule so now I, now i am trying to draw a structure of globule which is basically far from these cells so i am raising this level structure to make a diagram so basically these are internodes these are internode and here this is a point basically a structure which is far this is known as node this is a node this is internode and this internode this is the internode and this is the node this node is far from this cell which is far as a result of the union of this apical cell this is a structure which is known as pedicel and this pedicel is far from this upper cell and pedi cell on upper to the pedi cell there is a cell which is known as apical cell so now i am making this structure this is basically pedi cell and upper to this pedi cell this is a cell which is known as apical cell this apical cell divide here and produce eight cells it mean octet so this divide and produce eight cell it mean these are the four cells and four cells uh, and the second pair of four cell is present lower side so apparently these are looking like four but actually beneath these four cell another four cells are present lower side of this portion it means these are the basically eight cell it means four cells upper and four cells lower so eight cells are here in this portion which is produced as a result of division of this apical cell now here eight cells are four and now eight cells are known as octet octet this octet is formed as a result of division of this apical cell now where is the end e cell of this octet will divide and produce three cell it means there are eight cells and out of uh, these all eight cell will produce three cell it means the total number of cells will become 24 cells and these cells are arranged in three layers three circles in such that eight cells are arranged in, in this uh, like this and other and other four uh, sorry eight cells are 
present like this and this is the third layer of eight cells that mean eight cells 16 cells and 24 cells that mean now 24 cells are present where these cells are present these cells are present at this portion keep in mind these four cells these three layers but 24 cells this outer layer of eight cells will form a shield of a globule how the shield of globule is formed like this this is a shield This is basically a shield of globule and this shield is formed from outer layer of 8 cells. This is a shield cell. So in the last lecture we have studied that this shield is composed of only 8 cells. So these are out, outer 8 cells which are forming the shield of a globule. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 cells. So 8 cells are formed. But in the last lecture we also studied that some, uh, some ingrowth, radial ingrowth grow and make this structure multicellular. So these are outgrowth, radially, yes, radially ingrowth which are for uh, growing inwards, so that's why these structures are known as ingrowth. So, this was the function of outer layer of eight cells. Now we are going towards the middle layer. This is the middle layer, which is known as second layer. This second layer will form these structures, and these structures are known as manubrium. These structures are known as manubriums. Basically, these are the manubriums. These manubriums are far from this second layer. These are the manubriums. These are the manubriums. This is the shield, which is eight cell. This is far from outer cells, and this is manubrium. Basically, these are the manubriums. These are far from these middle cells, but. Now there is a structure which is known as at this position and this structure is known as primary capitula. This primary capitula is far from this inner cells, these types of inner cells which are far basically as a result of division of eight cells. So three layers are formed, outer layer give rise the shield middle layer give rise to such type of structure which are known as manubrium and the innermost layer is uh, will give rise a structure this structure is known as primary capitula and this primary capitula give will give rise divide many time and produce uh, these structures and these structures are known as secondary capitula secondary Capitula. These are secondary capitula. These are far from the division of this primary capitula. And these primary capitula will give rise 
that divide many time and produce a chain of cells and this chain of cells is known as anthridial filaments these are basically anthridial filaments and these anthridial filaments are producing from the secondary capitula and these secondary capitula are formed from the primary capitula these are anthridial filaments and these anthridial filaments contain a cells and these cells are known as anthridial proper anthridial proper and these anthridial proper cells are basically still immature they will become mature and converted into anthridium mature anthridium and this mature anthridium can fertilize the female structure which is known as archegonium so this was all about the male structure of cara which is known as globule how globule is developed this is the body of cara and this is the node some nodal cells nodal cell give rise a structure or converted into a apical cell this apical cell divide and produce two cells upper cell and lower cell lower cell will give rise lower cell will give rise a node and the upper cell give rise this structure and this structure is known as pedicel this is a pedicel and still apical cell is present unchanged or undivided when these structure are formed then this structure apical structure is present here it divide and produce eight cells and each cell out of eight cell divide and produce further three cells so that's why 24 cells are present and these are arranged in three layers one is outer layer second is middle layer and third is inner layer so outer layer will give rise a shield it means eight cells are present in the shields so these are also eight cells this expand and produce a globe like structure so that's why this is known as a globule then the inner layer which is also known as middle layer the middle layer gave these structure these structures are known as menubrium basically these are attached from one side to the uh, this shield and another another side to this primary capitula and the inner layer or a inner cell which are totally present inside of this structure this apical cell will give rise this structure and this structure is known as primary capitula this primary capitula cells divide and produce such type of cells and these cells are known as secondary capitula the cells of secondary capitula divide more again and again and produce a filament and these such type of filaments are known as anthridial filaments but the cells which are still present in the anthridial filaments are known as anthridial proper but still these are immature cells when they will become mature then they are converted into anthridia so these are the male sex structures of the uh, cara which are present or which are developed in the male structure which is known as globule in the next lecture we will study about the female portion or a female structure of the cara which is known as